She's a deep one. Oh. Sh it's a bird. It's a bee. Oh look! Oh wow! It's a bird feeder. I didn't have fun. The reason I want to come to this hill climb is because I know I've done it on the Apollo, and we've been here on the XR, and I want to see how this thing can handle it. Oh, it's gonna be deep. Oh, that was spicy. Now this is coming out for some practice today for the enduro races that are this year. This is where one of the races are gonna be held. So we're just in here today, kind of get a feel of how things are. It's been a while since we've been here. We got two ways here to go. Because we're a race boy, we're gonna go up the first one, I think. It's quite a hole right there. Yeah, this thing's gonna be quite interesting to try and actually take and compete with. I don't know. I'm also not a pro, you know? I'm just someone who likes to ride for fun. There's the race arrow and pink ribbon. So we found the track. We're in here looking for it. Some fresh tree cut. And deep bog. Oh, this is gonna be something else when we get in here racing. Whole different vibe when you're trying to pass people in here. Like, can you imagine? Wow, what an adventure today is gonna be. Yeah, KLX, baby. Still trying to get used to this brake. I wonder if I can make the, make it have a longer push. Makes it a little bit hard to control when I'm not used to it. Oh, that's a big tree. What a mysterious looking forest in here. Yeah, if you guys are still rocking your Apollo, you ever want to get something that's like kind of similar, but brand name? This is the thing. This is the bike, man. This thing's gonna last you, and they have extremely well resale value, so when you're done with it, ready for your next bike, it's gonna cost you nothing. Once we're done this trail, I want to go find Jeremy's trail. Someone's got a crazy good hill climb to her. And I want to put this thing to the test. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. The dirt was like soup and just ate the bike whole. All right, let's take it for another shot here. That one's a committing ride, boys. Well, pass that hill climb test. And up we go again. Hell yeah, boys. Epic. Epic, epic, epic. See, I'm not used to either how much ground clearance this has and whether I'm just gonna bottom out or not. Still learning the, what the size and where the bike likes to go and not. All right, up we go again. Not the line I wanted, but I'll take it. We need cover. Fuck. And then up. Whew! It's hard to trust these roots. That's gonna be, when we're out here racing, that's gonna be the number one thing is trusting the roots that you're not gonna just fall over. And up we go into this tight little V notch. No problem, bike eats it up. Wow. No idea what's around each corner.
Looks like someone had some fun here. Lost a couple fenders. I wonder how many other Kalexes we would see racing. Okay, this one we're gonna go up, I think, up to the right. You really gotta just fucking. Just that route right there! That one's fucking tough. And a pretty deep river. You can tell no one's been in here yet. All the puddles are nice and fresh and clean. Oh, this is a hill climb, boys. Here we go. Oh man, gotta commit to those ones. I'm getting some more fun stuff here, boy. And again. And again, again. Arrow says left. Man, I'm fucking cooking. And I guess when you're racing, there'll be no water breaks either. Yeah, this is gonna be wild racing, boys. I'm a little nervous, I ain't gonna lie. And I ain't even at race day. But I've like never raced or done anything. Oh, she deep here. Real deep here. And that's where having these big ass tires really comes in handy. Having some higher ground clearance so you're not right down in the bog. Especially if you're bottoming out the skid plate really doesn't help you for traction, right? Because it takes weight off the tire. Yeah, man, I'm I'm gassed up. We'll keep on the arrows? Sure. And yeah, this thing, even though it doesn't have a hydraulic clutch, it's just like standard cable clutch. It's still so good and easy to pull which makes a game changer. But I can actually like have some good clutch control on this bike. God damn, this thing is so good, boys. Absolutely love this bike. If you guys are on the fence about picking up one of these KLX 140 RFs, they're sick, man. Same thing as the G models. They just got renamed RF. Yeah, but these things are sick. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's some juicy deep stuff there. Oh boy. Oh, and then up, 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 up. Wow. Holy shit. Okay. Ate it up like dinner. Hell yeah, KLX baby. Man, I love this thing. It's too good. It's really rider inspiring. Oh, good balance, good balance. A little bit of skid plate tap. That's okay, that's what it's there for. Yeah, if you guys end up picking up one of these bikes, you gotta put a skid plate on it right away. The last thing you wanna do is crunch in the bottom cradle. Wow, she is swampy in here today. Real swampy. All right, and then we start getting into some more bouldery riverbed here that takes a little bit more of like picking a solid line. All right, it looks like we're getting into some gnarly shit. It's a bird, it's a bee. Oh look, oh, wow. it's a bird feeder. Someone didn't have fun. All right, up this little V-notch. Oh, good. Oh. Up the V-notch. Here goes nothing, boys. Woo! Barely. 
Neutral. Thank you. Oh, she's gonna get rough right here. Line choice is key. Wrong line. As soon as you lose momentum on these super slippy routes, it's just super hard to get that momentum going again. And it's just like a battle to get up them. Yeah, very, very slimy in here. All about grabbing the right line and missing the wrong, and trying to miss the super slippery ones, slippery routes. Because once they got the bark taken off them, they're slippery sons of guns. And you really need all the momentum to roll up it. Okay, now we got the line, I think. Yeah, you really gotta jump that one. That's also part of being the guy up front leading, because you don't know what's around the corner, which one is the right line, the wrong line. You need to bump this line, maybe take the other turn. Jesus, there's just parts everywhere. I don't know who goes riding and leaves their tire, but... They carry a lot of Yeah. Yeah, someone had a really bad day in here. There's engine casing, tires, fenders. I see snow. Yep, I see some snow. Oh boy. Hopefully it don't break. Okay, we're good. This is gonna be a crazy race course. Almost missed the turn. Where are we going here? we go. That was a really awkward angle to come in at it. What a racetrack, boys. Yeah, screw your motocross track. This is the tracks I'm interested in. But I really need to get that brake fixed before we try and come race this. I don't got much time or liquidity. I think my goal when I come to race is just to finish the race. Or like maybe don't come last. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. I can't get over how crazy it would be to race this. Excited, but nervous. And it's not even race day yet. Because all this you just need to be flying through. Right, it's a race. It's not just out for play like we are today. It's gonna be how quick can you go through this and pass other schmoes like me. Electric start, baby. All right, we're at Jeremy's Trail. The reason I want to come to this hill climb is because I know I've done it on the Apollo and we've been here on the XR. And I want to see how this thing can handle it. This one's like a double hill climb. All right. Yeah. And up again. Woo! Lots more snot.
Soupy! These twigs and branches absolutely just fuck you up. They're the worst, honestly. They just stick in all your spokes, up in the frame, and just, yeah, they just get the wheels stuck and it's just a pain in the ass. Some juicy stuff. Looks like they might be getting into the swamp. Huh. I don't know. That's the dry bypass, Yeah. Holy crap. Juicy. Oh, it's juicy in here. Holy shiza. Wow, I went the wrong side on that and it was deep. Ah, yep. uh, yes, back to the swamp. Hell yeah, freaking swamp monster today, boys. This girl's gonna need a good bath after today. Let's see how deep it is, I guess. White rapid flowing. Oh no! This is the one that has the thing in it, doesn't it? That's what I told ya! Fuck! Oh, fucker. Right. Yeah, holy crap. Oh, it's gonna be deep. Oh, that was spicy. Yep, this is gonna be spicy. Ah, fucking piece of shit. Out of the way. Here goes nothing. That's where I was going. Fucking slimy, buddy. Yeah, I think I got a stick in my head. Hold on. You okay? Yep. That was ultra deep, boys. That river was crazy. Man, you just point this thing, lay on some juice, and she goes. Ah! Oh man, some of these that are murky like that, you just don't know how deep they're gonna be when you drop into it. Or how soft the bottom is, if there's grip or not. Oh yes, I do remember this. Ah, remember this? All right, now this is the one where it's super duper soupy right there. All right, let's take her swamp fogging. Yep, that's some deep, juicy stuff. Just pulling the mud out of my boot. Fuck, that was deep, buddy. Yeah. Over top of your rear tire. Yeah. Now we're taking the hard line, boys. Holy shit! Woo! More swamp town. Holy swamp. Oh, she's a deep one. She's a deep one. Oh shit. Ha <laughs> Foot got caught in the tree. Sheesh. Uh 
hot damn. Jesus. Holy fuck. Yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. Woohoo! Holy moly, boys. What an adventure! There's so much bush! I wonder if I can make it there and cross up diagonal on the river. Right on, Fuck yeah! Let's fucking go, boys! Woo! See if this one gets us up to where we need. Or if it's going to be absolutely brutal. Brutal indeed. Slippery logs in here, boy. Try pivot turn. Like so. Part of playing in the woods here is you gotta kind of fix or figure out where to go. With how much tree fall there is. And we're back in a swamp here. Woo! What a day of riding, boys. This is a swampy wet track. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed the first real trail ride on the KLX 140 RF. Absolute blast. Holy crap, what a wet day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go down below, click that like, click subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.